Hi guys. One of the reasons I'm so passionate about what I share and do, as you can tell by my videos and my posts, is because I've lived a life of trauma, drama, abuse, abandonment. Very stressful life from the time my father died when I was 11 months old. My mother was undiagnosed bipolar and I was adopted into a family that was very indifferent to me and didn't understand me, which started me on a journey of um, low self-esteem. I mean, at age 14, I was put into a nunnery because my mother and my adopted father couldn't handle me. And then I was put into foster care at 14, hence running away from home many times. But I say this because I'm passionate about helping women. And yes, there's some men I help too in my clientele, but it's mostly women who have been traumatized by things in their life. The drama and the trauma absolutely scars us. It ends up tainting every aspect of our life in relationships. And not only that, but in who we stand up to be who we are, our self-esteem, our self-worth is so tainted as we start to grow older. I felt like I was worth nothing. I had so many talents. There was such an ambition placed in my life from my parents and others that I had a university scholarship paid for, that I was going to make something of my life. Well, in those early years, according to everybody else, I didn't make anything. I screwed it all up. Pregnant at 15, married at 16, divorced three times, five kids raising them on my own. But I've started successful businesses. I've been a pioneer way ahead of my time. My gosh, at 21, I was co-founder of a group called Women's Morning Out. I was supporting women that were, that were stay-at-home moms, bringing them out to a local town hall to hear speakers, providing babysitting, and providing an outlet for women to come together for support. That was one of my first ventures at 21. You know, and then I started to be self-sufficient. I started to be an entrepreneur. And then I started to be part of a women's shelter because, ah, yeah, I was at a women's shelter twice. So my stories are here that have formed who I am. I have healed the traumas and the dramas. I am healing the triggers that come up in the past years. And let me tell you, triggers are always there for us. We are on a constant healing journey. That never ends. But through my experiences and then the knowledge of those experiences and the wisdom that has come from that and the tools and techniques and the trainings and the diplomas and the degrees and the this and the that and the courses and the practitioner certificates and long list of stuff that I'm qualified and experienced in has helped thousands around the world. So if you're a woman who's experiencing loss, trauma, drama, relationship issues, time of life, not knowing what's up and what's down, all of those things that you're experiencing in your life, I have too, and I know how to help you. So as I sit here this evening getting ready just to relax into this evening, you know, my day's over. It's been a fun-filled day for me. I sat here and I went, what do women really need to hear? Well, they need to hear that there's help, that someone gets you, that someone understands what you're going through, and there's someone here to support and help you. Message me, ladies, because if I can go through what I've gone through in my life, I can help anybody. So until then, you know, have a new look at yourself and say, I think it's time for me to heal all of those things that are holding me back, all of those things that have stopped me, and all of those things that are holding me back to live my wonderful life. Talk to you soon.